Okay, so where we left off, I was crouching here because there's a. Uh... Oh! I'm running to the next room. He found me. What the heck? Why is he patrolling and groaning at me? I'm liking the sound effect. It's just following me around while rumbling. day. I'm on the right track. I'm also trying to keep an eye out for a large mushroom. Oh, this area is big enough that uh, Grumbles over there could sneak up on me quite nicely. Okay, I'm looking away. I'm nowhere near his patrol route. Hoping that is sufficient to make him not come this way. Oh, please, no. Oh, please, no. Oh, please. He's like two feet from me. And I can't look at him or it'll make him notice me. mumbles. Unless that's Alexander, in which case he can hush. Torch will tell me where I've been. The wheel is good for keeping your victims oh, still the breaking the wheel. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. It's known as the, the breaking wheel. This hammer right here should be self-explanatory. And there's a glow coming from over there, so obviously. The orb piece. Oh, 
The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so this rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream, but the two men looked at each other knowingly, and took a hammer to strike the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. I'm gonna test something real quick. I was seeing if it would trigger a sound. seeing if it would trigger a sound effect kind of like the first one did with the hand crank. Fun thing about Let's Play is I can't just save constantly and restart. Just a fun little fact that I've noticed. It makes it all the more suspenseful. Knowing that I can't rely on that trick. Obviously down. If the crevice leads up, then we're in trouble. Or we're at the bottom of a crevice, in which case it would lead up. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Best I'm where he shouldn't be able to reach me. I saw him. Saw him. He didn't see me. Nope. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm hiding outside of where your pathfinding should be able to lead. Three, four, five. There's six pieces. There should be a big mushroom in here. Okay. Let's 
let's go this way. It's really unnerving. And the fog plays tricks on my eyes. I need that mushroom. Really? This place is a maze. I think this is the other side of that chasm I was uh, looking at. Yep. Sorry for crouch walking so much, but uh, given that this area, at any moment, one of those groaners could appear, I find it better that I'm in the crouching position. Ah! Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Really? The one time I need to pick something up. Please be a rock I can pick up. Yes. And that's the poison gland. So that's three of the three ingredients I need for that potion. Go. Oh. The brazen bull. Not hugely commonly known of torture implement, but still a uh, an old classic, so to speak. Very, very old classic. Oh, and they've got it hooked into the whole piping network too. The trader did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. The screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. Piece number six. That one's bright green. I like that. Oof. Slight headache. <laughs> well, it's been 14 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and call this one because I'm not a good stopping point. And I will begin recording the next one. See you next time.